happy morning children welcome to the mathematics class for fourth standard icac today we are going to continue the fourth unit division previous class we saw the exercise 4.3 and in this exercise we read about the division sums estimated uh, and uh, estimated the quotient also we saw in today's class we are going to continue the next exercise 4.4 exercise 4.4 in page number 66 uh, in this exercise we are going to learn about divide and check your answers we know the division of uh, numbers now we are going to do the division as well as we are going to check our answer by using uh, the formula like Okay, we will go to the exercise section now. First sum, 3533 divided by 27. So, 27 is a two digit number. We just know the table. As I said in the division sum, you can write the division, uh, sorry, multiplication numbers in the rough column 27 into 2 27 into 3 27 into 4 you can uh, multiply and keep it ready so now we are going to do the sum first uh, one is 3533 is the dividend 27 is the divisor so divisor should come outside and dividend should come inside now uh, 27 is a two digit number so inside we have to take it Two digit number first it is 35 and 35 is the greatest number than 27 so it will come one time one time 37 so do the subtraction 35 minus 27 it is 8 next bring down the next number it is 3 now you have a 3 uh, 83 in your hand in 27 we have three times 3 into 27 81 and the remainder is 2 next bring down the next number 5 so 25 25 is the smallest number than 27 so put the quotient 0 then stop the sum now we have the quotient is 130 and the remainder is 25 so division sum is over now we are going for checking checking divisor multiply by quotient plus reminder here we have 27 uh, divisor quotient is 130 and remainder is 25 write it as it is 25 multiply by 130 we can do it first that is 3510 plus 25 it is 3535 which is equal to our dividend so what we done the sum is correct now verification is over Second sum 9084 divided by 62. 62 is a divisor. We just know the 62 table. You can write it, otherwise, you multiply and check with the 62 into 2, 62 into 3, 62 into 4. Likewise, so here 62 is two digit number in dividend. Also, take a two digit number 90. In 90, 62 is one time will come. So, do the subtraction, 28 is a reminder. Then, bring down the next number, 8, that is 288 in your hand. Then, uh, do the multiplication again with the 62 into 3, 62 into 4, which is equal to our 248. So, 4 times 248 and the reminder is 40. Next, bring down the last digit, 4. 404 in your hand then take the 62 again you multiply and find it out nearest to, to that number it is 6 times 372 so the remainder is 32 quotient is 146 remainder is 32 now coming for the checking section divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder so 62 multiply by 146 plus 32 so first thing is multiplication 62 into 146 multiply and write the answer 9052 plus 32 
the answer is 9084 which is equal to our dividend so the sum is verified now now coming to the sixth sum 3374 divided by 29 29 is a divisor you can write uh, the 29 table otherwise you can multiply and verify with the 29 so now you can take 29 as a two digit number inside dividend also two digit number 33 in 33 1 times 29 is there then the subtraction remainder is 4 next bring down the next number 47 in 47 also 1 times 29 is there remaining is 18 next bring down the last digit 184 so in that we have a 6 times 29 174 remainder is 10 the quotient is 116 and the remainder is 10 now coming for the checking section divisor into quotient plus remainder so 29 into 116 plus 10 so the uh, answer is 3374 which is equal to our dividend so what we done that uh, sum is verified now so similarly you can do the next two sums as a homework children now coming to the last exercise in this unit is exercise 4.5 page number 67 the first sum is 119 balls are to be packed equally in seven boxes how many bo balls will be there in each box that is a question see children we have a uh, the word problem total number of balls they given they are going to equally distributed into the boxes that also the statement is given so in each box how many is wanted to pack that is a question so we need to do the division the stand sentence solution number of balls is 119 number of boxes 7 therefore number of balls packed in each box is equal to 119 divided by 7 uh, take the 109 and divide the uh, number with the 7 in your rough column in uh, 11 we have 1 times 7 remaining is 4 49 7 7 are 49 so the answer is 17 so 17 balls can be packed in each box now third sum 594 pencils are packed equally in 33 packets how many pencils are there in each packet similar to our first sum uh, so number of pencils is 594 number of packets is 33 we are going to distribute into equal uh, number of pencils in each bo boxes so uh, take the number in the rough column 594 divide with 33 so in 33 59 will come in the one times so remaining is 264 and bring down the next number 4 next uh, 33 we will come 8 times 264 so the answer is 18 so 18 pencil can be packed in uh, each packets fourth sum 153 trees are planted equally in nine rows how many trees were planted in each that's the question so number of uh, trees is 140 153 number of rows nine to, uh, therefore number of uh, plants that is trees in each row is equal to 153 divided by nine so the answer is 17 so 17 rows are uh, planted the trees fifth sum 626 peoples decided to take a hoo bus for delhi darshan 15 peoples can sit comfortably in a bus how many bus are needed that is a question so total number of people they given a number of people accommodate in one bus also given so how many buses needed that is the question so solution number of people is equal to 626 number of people in one bus is equal to 15 therefore not therefore number of bus needed is equal to 626 divided by 15 do the division in the rough column the answer is 41 is a quotient remaining 11 passengers are there 
so for that 11 we need one more bus so 41 plus 1 totally we need 42 buses now sixth sum a man bought 25 tickets for the movie rupees 2125 what is the cost of one ticket so they given the total cost of 25 tickets we need for one ticket so total number of uh, total cost of the ticket is equal to rupees 2125 number of tickets is 25 total cost from that we are going to find it out the single cost of a ticket therefore cost of a ticket is equal to rupees 2125 divided by 25 the answer is you write it in the rough column and do the division the answer is 85 so the one one ticket cost is rupees 85 Seventh sum cost of a 42 notebooks is rupees 966. What is the cost of a one notebook? So we know that uh, many they given one they are asking it is division. Cost of a 42 notebooks is equal to rupees 966. Therefore the cost of a one notebook is equal to rupees 966 divided by 42. So do the rough column division. The answer is 23 rupees. So, cost of one notebook is rupees 23. Eighth sum 3825 centimeters of ribbon has to be cut into pieces. Each measures 35 centimeter. How many pieces can be cut and how many ribbons will be left over? That is the question. So, total length of the ribbon is given that is 3825 cm. From that, we need a length of a single ribbon is 35 cm. So, how many ribbons can be cut from that? And if any reminder is there, that should be in the reminder length. So, the now, number of ribbons pieces that is equal to 3825 divided by 35 in uh, do the rough column division 35 divided by that is 3825 divided by 35 so we have the quotient is 109 and the reminder is 10 so we need to cut uh, 109 pieces and the remaining is 10 centimeter ribbon has been uh, left over. Ninth sum 6012 uh, rupees is shared equally among 21 children. How much money does each children get? How much money is left over? That is a question. So total amount is 6012. Number of children is 21. So each children how much they are going to get means you do the division uh, 6012 by 21. So the quotient is 286 and the remainder is 6. So therefore each children can get 286 rupees and the remaining is 6 rupees. Tenth sum 864 cartons of books are loaded in 36 trucks how many cartons are loaded in each truck so total number of books they given and number of cartons are tractors they given and how many books are loaded in each truck that is a question solution number of cartons is equal to 864 number of trucks is equal to 36 Therefore, number of cartons load in each truck is equal to 864 divided by 36. Do the division in the rough column. Uh, the quotient is 24. So, 24 cartons can be packed in, loaded in each truck. That's it children. We completed the exercise 4.5 and uh, this unit also we completed now. We will see the next class with the new unit. Thank you children. Stay home and stay safe.